Extra Minutes. Getting to Virunga National Park is an absolute mission. We flew into Kigali in Rwanda and it was so amazing to be in a place of so much history. And Rwanda is this great success story, 20 years on from the genocide. Um, the country is doing incredibly well. The roads are fantastic. They've got close to 100% participation in primary and secondary schools, which I think has something to do with the fact that 64% of their politicians are women. Driving from Kigali to get to the Congolese border was just a really beautiful drive and of course you can't help but looking around and, and thinking about the history of the place and it's just amazing, it's so picturesque and we're travelling all through the mountain ranges and it's just so nice to see that a country can bounce back from such horror. And then you hit the Congo. We're in no man's land here, the border to the Democratic Republic of Congo is about 20 metres that way. The Rwandan border is another 20 metres that way. So at the moment we're just trying to wait for another bus to come and pick up all our gear. But we've had the most amazing drive through Rwanda. It took us about three hours from Kigali, the capital, and it is just spectacular. But we're losing light now, and we had been told that we should not be driving at night, it's too dangerous. So we're really hoping that our car from the Congo side comes soon so we can get on our way. We're a television crew travelling with, I think we had on this occasion, 15 boxes, which is less than we normally travel with. But they don't really see that very often. So of course, everyone's getting a little bit stressed because what lies ahead is pretty dangerous. It's the hardest <laughs> you had to work, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> The hardest part of the job. Put that there. Put that there. Work harder. <laughs> I'm manning the door of security. Don't you get too fast, Bowie? <laughs> so we finally cleared customs. It took a little while and it was a little bit stressful, but we're finally on the road. Drivers are a bit angsty because they wanted to be get going a few hours ago because it is getting dark. But we're heading to Makano Lodge, which is going to be our home for the next four days, where we'll get to see the mountain birds. So mm -hmm. But after all that hard work, you finally arrive in Virunga National Park, which was one of the most amazing places in the world. You're surrounded by volcanoes, it's green, there are animals everywhere, and you just think, like, how does this, how does this oasis even exist? in a country like the Congo with such a violent past. How have they managed to preserve it? So after this, this trek in to see the gorillas, the greatest moment of the trip is when John, Mo, the ranger who was taking us in said, Ali, Ali, just around the corner, there's a silverback. And so walking and you sort of turn the corner and here you see this huge silverback just lounging in the shrubbery and sort of just looking at us stiff to say, oh yeah, you know, what are you doing here? So I'm trying to be really quiet so the gorillas don't run away. And then, what's that sound? Ah! <laughs> sorry. What's that then? Oh, sorry. What's that then? Stinging needle in my oh, ass. Sorry. 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 So sorry. 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 It hurt like hell. <sighs> They were so relaxed and you're within metres of these extraordinary animals. The little ones, they're so inquisitive, they just keep coming up. They just want to touch you and, um, and get as close as possible. So we're constantly moving back because, you know, you've got to keep a, a certain distance. But just to sort of watch this, this family unit, um, Emmanuel de Merod, who, who runs the park, said it's almost like looking into the eyes of a gorilla is like seeing the better part of yourself. They're the, the best elements of, of, of a human. They're gentle, they're curious, they're warm, they're loving. And you look into their faces and you just, you almost get lost. Like, it is so sad that there are less than a thousand of them left in the wild. And it was such a privilege to get so close and to spend that amount of time with them. You're rolling, mate. <laughs> of course. Ouch. How tough was that? Oh, it's just a walk in the park, you know, just another day at 60 minutes, just mountain gorillas, that's all. Tick. Move on, nothing to look at here, people, except a completely exhausted <laughs> Oh, gorillas. Is it worth it? Bring them all down off the mountain. 
and just sticking that back <laughs> so much easier. Is that asking too much? Was it worth it? Yes. Yep. Yeah, definitely. They're amazing creatures.